And last time we talked about the how can we design an independent settling automaton, and we we figured out the settling automaton can generate two different action: action one and action two. And these two action will combine with inputs to the later stage to calculate clause value. So today we're gonna talk about how can we calculate clause and how can we implement it in logic scene. So. You can see in the screen, the formula which is defines the uh, the mechanism of clause computing unit, and the graph on the right hand side, which is give you example of a four literal system, and a single clause, and the way to calculate clause value. So. To understand this clause computation much easier, is in order to calculate the clause, you need to have and the literal x and also its negated version. You also need i and i bar, which is described the include exclude action generated by the each of the TAs. So the, there's um, the rule of this um, clause computation is and everything, but if exclude, you not participate in the, the calculation. So let's just dive into the example to show you how, what the, does that mean? And this example, you can see the TA have different color. The TA with green color, which means it's include, which they generate the include action one. The, the, the color is orange, which means it's exclude generate um, zero. And I and I bar, which is basically describes the include and exclude um, actions. So I described the include exclude action for TA, X for uh, the normal um, X literal. So in this case is one o one one, and you can see I bar in this case will be o one o o. So now we can start to calculate the clause. So let's start from something easy, which is clause equal to one and which is this one is by default, which is everything will start from one by default. So now let's so then we can work on this part, which is for um, x one to x four. So in this case, um, only x two is um, excluded. And which this result produced by TA X two, so we'll only participate. The calculation will only to allow X one, X three, and X four to participate. So the result we can have is X one and one and X two. Oh, sorry, X two is not participated. X three and one and X four and one. So, so this is the result from for normal x, and we also can produce for uh, x one bar. And in this case, the only literal being included is the x two bar, so everything else will be uh, ignored, right? So this will be ignored. So we will only um, and x two bar. And also, the action one. So the result will be one and one and and one, and one and one. So the result will be one. Yeah, because x one x three x four is one one one, and x 
two bar is also one, so everything will be one. So this is pretty easy, right? So now we're gonna show you a scenario when cross value is zero. So in this example, like what we did before, firstly we produce the subset or um, arrays we can say to describe the action generated from each ta in this case which is one o one o for normal ta for normal x1 and in this case we can also produce the action for negated controls in this case will be o one o one right so, so let's just dive into the calculation. So, firstly, we need to figure out who, which niche will get, get uh, excluded and is not participating. We can see this is not participate, this is not participate, right? For the negated version, this is not participate and this is not participate. So we just need to consider this scenario, right? So we can see is x1 and 1, okay, and x3 and 1, right? So this is the um, um, the normal literals. We also need to think about the negated version, x2 bar and 1, and x3 bar and, oh, sorry. So it's x4 bar and 0 or 1, yeah. So the result we can get is 1 and 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 0 and 1 because x4 bar is 0. So we can have a 0 for our cross value. Pretty easy, right? So in the next stage, we're going to show you how can we synthesize a cross computation unit in logic C. Will be very easy. Will be the same method like what we said last time. Describe the functionality, which basically you describe this function in the truth table, and the logic C will produce a synthesized logic gate circuit for you. So you can verify it using these two examples to see does your algorithm works, does your design is, is correct. So you can see in this screen, this is the synthesized class computing unit we seen in the example. And the box, black box here, which is describes the formula we've seen before for ending different literals and actions to produce the cross value and the system that is the same with the one i seen before is a four literal system with the negated version of these literals and the input also includes the action from tas action from the tas for normal literals and action from the gated version of it so this demo shows the first example we show into you which is one clause value equal to one in the second example we change the action for TA x4 back to zero so which means x4 will not be included in the con in the calculation but x4 bar will be included and in this case x4 bar is 0 x4 bar is here it will be included so the cross value will be 0 so this is a simple design of a cross computation unit and remember in this case the all the TEA's actions a discrete uh, illuminated um, value so what you can do is is you merge the TA design from last time with this design 
try to see how the how does the clause changes by sending them penalty and reward and giving different a uh, literal input to see how the system behave well that's it so i hope you learned something and um, i hope i can show you more about central machine next time and we will talk about summation and threshold holding function of the settlement machine and we will also demonstrate that in in logic scene